a new video hope you're all doing well and hope you're all nice and cozy before we start this video let's grab all a cup of tea and cheers together as it's still cold outside and you want to stay cozy until spring get hits us properly and uh, yeah for those who still haven't subscribed to my channel and are currently watching this video I would like to invite you guys to my channel which is all about beauty, fashion, luxury and lifestyle vlogging so if you do like or are interested in content like such don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell button so let's get on with today's video I don't want to be boring in terms of like make constant uh, videos of just makeup so I'm trying to make uh, each video a bit more different and bring like mm, beauty stuff along at the same time so today I was thinking mm, uh, officially I've actually searched this in Google officially 20th of March is when spring starts but as the sun's been out in London we've been thinking oh uh, spring's out in but however it's been freezing out there so I don't want to start spring contents until it's proper spring yeah I thought as we are nearly at the end of winter well, we're literally at the end of winter so I just wanted to show you my 2020 to 2021 coat collection what I've been wearing all winter and how I feel about them and um, you know whether this would be a trend and a trend next year and whether I would be able to style it as well as I wore it this year as you know normally sometimes uh, things that are more of trend go by and you know it just dies off and you don't feel like wearing it and yeah so I just like to discuss and chat with you guys as um, you know I don't think we we do that a lot in this channel yet so I thought you know Let's have a calm, cozy video at home. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show you my coat collection. Uh, let's get on with the video. This is my latest coat I have purchased. Hans Tooth print has been so in during this autumn and season, uh, winter season. This coat was actually really hard for me to get. It was out of stock every time I went online looking for it or at times I found sizes that were different from mine. I am a size 12 to 14 and I normally tend to go a size down when it comes to my coats. So I finally found a size 12 available so I quickly went and grabbed it. This coat lifts my look every time I wear it. You can easily pull off so many cute uh, monochrome looks. It also looks quite high end as the material is really good. I bought this coat the year before but didn't get to wear as much that year. I have seen one of the YouTubers I love to watch, Gemma Lewis Smiles, get this coat and give a review on it. So I decided to make a purchase and honestly I loved it on the first glimpse. This coat is so comfortable, it almost feels like I am wrapped into a fluffy blanket. I also love the colour as beige tends to make your outfit look more expensive. 
however it it as this is my first baggy and fluffy coat i felt like it made me look um big if, which eventually i got used to the trend This coat was actually a gift from my friend Suchita as my birthday present. I have worn this coat the most during this season. I found baby blue colour was quite in during winter in high street fashion. Also the material gave me a Chanel blazer vibe. The whole definition of this coat was elegance to me as the buttons and the cut and the material spoke classy to me. I also love how it was quite easy for me to pull off outfits with this coat. Um, it is such a statement piece just on its own. So this is the last item for today, it's not a, co uh, a coat exactly but it is quite heavy and keeps you really warmed up so most of the time I would just wear this with a jumper underneath. Again this coat is really expensive looking um, because uh, of the colour so it instantly boosts up your look. Uh, I have bought this long time ago, nearly like three years probably, yet the material looks still new. I love to wear this when I go for very casual black and white look um, as just this on its own lifts up the whole outfit. And also perfect for a modest fashion as um, you know, it's quite loose and baggy. So, hope you liked this video and that was it for today. Uh, hope you liked my new uh, video quality because I have been doing some stuff to improve my quality honestly quality is key for me as um you know i would i like to sometimes uh see my channel as a viewer's point and i honestly don't like non good quality videos of course i'm still a beginner i just started and i am not supposed to be at that level yet in terms of quality but I also believe I should be slowly investing and also improving in my quality so let me know how you find the quality of today's video and um, if you also want to see how I am I am improving my studio studio and how how i am building it as i'm nearly halfway there and i want to make a video about that soon as soon as i feel like i'm ready but let me uh, let me know in the comment section if you're interested in something like that so i would put that in uh my to-do list so i get that done quickly so yeah today's video was it and hope you liked it uh i have more coats but i just thought these were like my best ones out of them uh and my favorite ones honestly 
and the ones that I wore the most this year. Yeah, so that was it. Hope you liked my coats and let me know what little, which coat suits me more or which one would you like to purchase? I don't know, in that comment section. And let's start a conversation um, down there. And hope to see you in my next video. Bye.